All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Akeen. Welcome to this vlog. Here to give you another college football preview for the 2006 season, and this is going to be a good one for you guys. Southern Mississippi, the Golden Eagles had actually a good season last season, winning the West Division of Conference USA and making it to the title. But they did lose to eventual champs, Western Kentucky, and I think this team is going to come back this season, and I actually am already going to predict them as this season's conference champs. Why? Because they have a great quarterback in Nick Mullins, who was last season's Conference USA Offensive Player of the Year. 38 touchdown passes to 12 picks and passed for just over 4,400 yards through the air. Now this season he is going to play without their top wide receiver in Michael Thomas. But DJ Thompson should step it up at wideout. He should be the leading target this season at 6'3", 200 pounds. He actually was third in the, in the team in, in, in receiving yards. But he also has an out standing running back in Ito Smith who rushed for over 1100 yards last season and over 500 yards receiving fourth on the team while split in time with Jalen Richards. The Golden Eagles not only throws the football well but they could also run the football well. Both Richards and Smith rushed for over 1000 yards but I think Smith is going to be due for a bigger season because Richards actually is no longer with the team. Now there is one little bit of issue. They have a new set of head co uh, he uh, coaching staff. Todd Munkin the previous head coach of last season he is now the offensive coordinator for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this means Jay Hobson is the new head coach for the Golden Eagles but I don't think there's much to worry about there's just way too much talent offensively now on the defensive side they actually have a good linebacker in Denarius Antoine who had 103 tackles two interceptions and five pass breaks and leading the team doing a great job as a leader I think he's going to do an even better job this upcoming season as a candidate for the defensive player of the year honors and he also has a pretty good teammate and lineman Dylan Bradley who had six and a half sacks last season I think he's going to get more sacks this upcoming season now, if you take a good look at their schedule, I think this team can go 9-3 overall before heading into conference play. I think at worst they will lose one game in conference play this upcoming season, but still make it to the title and win it out and get to a good bowl matchup at the end of the season. So I have the Eagles going 9-3 overall. Now, next time I'm going to catch you guys will be just a couple minutes. I have two more blogs for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Keem McCall. Be easy.